Käpylää on pidetty ja pidetään vielä nytkin Suomen ainoana puutarhakaupunkina. Eräskin espanjalainen arkkitehti totesi Helsingin arvokkaimmiksi paikoiksi Senaatin torin ja Käpylän. Welcome, welcome to Capula, a piece of heaven in Helsinki. It's also my home. This is where I was born and raised and where I still live with my mom. The best way to get here is hopping on a line number one tram. Get off at the last stop. By the way, it is the northernmost tram stop in the whole world. Or so I thought until yesterday when I was doing some research and turned out that the Norwegians in Trondheim have topped us with their own tram system. These kiosks were built for the 1952 Helsinki Olympics. This particular booth has been pretty much out of regular use since Arkioski branched out here across the street. However, a lovely little business opened up here a few years ago. In summertime you can come here to enjoy a cup of coffee, some pie or an ice cream and chill here on a hammock or over there behind me on the grass. There is often some music or poetry performances to enjoy as well. Tervetuloa kaikki lämpimästi ja sydämellisesti tänne Käpylän lippakioskille. Look up Käpylän lippakioski on Facebook and Instagram. These apartments around me were also built for the Olympics to accommodate the athletes. That's when Coca-Cola was first introduced to Finland, but it was only sold inside the stadium area and here at the so-called Olympic Village. I remember my neighbor telling me stories of him and his friends sneaking through the fences to the Olympic Village and snatching some bottles of Coke. Most houses in Kapula look like this. They were built in the early 1920s. In the early days the rents were cheap and easily affordable for workers moving to Helsinki. There was only one well somewhere here on Sampsantia where, where people would have to come and fetch their water from distances up to one kilometer. Still in the 1960s the houses didn't have toilets inside them. The neighborhood was in such a bad condition that the city almost sent its bulldozers to demolish everything. Presumably with the idea of building high rises like in the neighboring Basila. Päivää. Ja mitä te pidätte puukäpylästä? No, mä pidän kyllä kun mä asun täällä. No mikä tässä niin erityisesti viehättää? No, luonto ehkä ja... Aha. Sitten. Mitä te ajattelette siitä, että nämä talot revittäisiin alas? Onko se teistä järkevää? Ei, mä en tykkää sit olkaan. Nää on niin kauniita kyllä. Että... Jotain mukavuuksia saa saittaa, mutta ei kokonaan. Joo, kiitoksia. Luckily, the residents stood up against the plan and Capula was preserved. The people of Capula don't like things being taken away from them. In 2002, the Helsinki city threatened to close down the local library. A pro-library citizen movement sprang up and names were being collected for a petition. In the end, 7,000 out of the 7,700 residents signed the petition and the library was saved. Capula Library, big up, we love you. Capula, Capula wasn't destroyed even during the war, thanks to the excellent air defense system in Helsinki. Cannons like this blasted a wall of fire so dreadful that the Russian bombers were forced to drop their load too early and turn away. Only about 5% of the bombs dropped reached their targets in the city. One of those anti-aircraft batteries was here on top of Taivaskallio, which is the highest natural point of Helsinki. There were four cannons here and a crew of 100 men. Now that the war is over, the bunkers are manned by drunk teenagers on summer evenings. This particular bunker is called Pusu Bunkeri, the kiss bunker by some. That's because some couples come here to make out. Taivaskallio is definitely worth the hike. Back in the day, the people of Capula would come up here to celebrate the midsummer night. And there was a big bonfire up here too. I wish the tradition was still alive. I have so many fond memories of Capula. Right here there was a kiosk called Pohis. I remember me and my friends coming here every Saturday with the little pocket money we got from our parents. We spent ages pondering which sweets to buy from these little glass jars. Growing up in Capula was all a kid could ask for. 
there was plenty to explore. I love Gabalon. I love it so much that I felt the need to share these random facts and stories with you. But I want to learn more. So I challenge you, wherever you are, to make a video of your neighborhood and share your random facts and stories. P.S. There is bound to be more videos in English because I'm moving abroad for a few months. But more on that later. Till then, stay tuned. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Prepare for